Open chest. You got emergency backup absorbency unit. Drink milk. Fiddlesticks. Examine broken bow. Archery is so hard when you're this strong. Examine fine art. Legends tell of muscle beasts once roaming the cosmos that were so enormous they could destroy entire planets with but a twitch of any anatomical feature. Are the legends true? You hope so. This piece is simply called Edward. It is so beautiful. You got a heap of fresh towels! Examine Robopile, a gratifying heap of soundly trashed robotics. Standing near this pile stirs powerful emotions. The closer you stand to piles of stuff, the more freely the feelings flow. It is a law of reality. A ferocious and concerned Moirail suddenly approaches out of some wild shrubberies. I regard the ferocious Moirail stoically. I mean... I greet Miss Lejon without issuing a statement of Axion in the first person. Miss Leon ponders over whether Mr. Zahak is still feeling blue over his deported Robo sweetheart and needs more cheering up. Mr. Zahak, I mean I, will probably be feeling blue about that for some time, yes. But he is, darn it. I am exceptionally strong and will cope with it admirably. Even though she didn't even say goodbye for some reason. Aww. We can always curl up in the pile again to talk about feelings. <laughs> Nepeta, for goodness sakes, a man can only discuss feelings for so much time. How long have we already spent in the robotic pile? Um... I believe it was at least an hour. We examined my emotional state until we were both blue in the face. <laughs> what? Blue, 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 blue. I just love the way you say that word. I know. Nepeta, I think it would behoove us to address the extreme danger in a serious manner. <laughs> you mean about Gamzee? <laughs> I'm still not sure if I can believe it. That's because you still refuse to look upon our bloodlines as the deciding behavioral factors they are. Behavioral? Behavioral. Sorry. My uh, heart is galloping and I can't enunciate properly. The horst case scenario is upon us. <laughs> His is the richest and most noble blood possible among the High Land Dwellers. As such, he is prone to being more violent and unpredictable than any of us. Not everyone has been as lucky as I in the domain of more allegiance. I utter to think what I might be without you, Nepeta. Utter? Shudder. Oh, that's so sweet, Equius. You know I'll always be ready to tackle pounds you whenever you start getting especially furious. Yes, which is among the reasons why I must make your protection a high priority. The High Blood has joined a stable of those who are becoming increasingly volatile and murderous as we remain stranded in this laboratory. I command you to steer clear of them. Do you understand? <laughs> Did you mean steer in the livestock sense? Y yes well if you're referring to Vriskers, I was already plenty scared of her. And if you're talking about Mr. Ampra, he's always giving me the creeps anyway, so there's nothing to fret over. Excellent. I would still prefer you hide. I mean, prefer. Hide? Where? Behind the gate. Gate? You mean gate? What gate? <laughs> what are you stalking about? I mean that door over there, you... Gosh darn silly face! Oh, okay. I will now seek the high blood, Nepeta. I command you to go hide as we discussed. Sure, but there are a lot of nuts on the loose out there, so don't stick your neck out and take any big frisks. I will exact caution, even when safety looks to be 100% assured. Even so, I would still like to take the opportunity to say what goodbye well okay goodbye but you had better believe i'll see you again soon equius yes you will drink milk lap 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 you got a fresh towel 
Examine teapot. Chamomile. It smells so good. Pearl gray. This has been steeping for way too long, so it is undoubtedly very strong. Just the way Aquius likes it. Nepeta sheepishly looks at her shoe with a question on her pursed lips. For Pete's good-for-nothing Dixie whistling sakes, Nepeta! I am through talking about feelings. Now go hide like I commanded. But so many of our friends have died, and it just makes me so sad to think about. I don't think we've even scratched the surface of our feelings yet. And our feelings in this case are a very tall and inviting carpeted post to sink our claws into. I do not hoove claws. I mean have claws. I know. I was speaking metaphorically. Mr. Zahak rolls his eyes, which remain concealed and aloof as ever. Besides, I know for a fact that you're still feeling blue <laughs> from losing Aradia. I suppose. I did not mention, but I think I should. It may perk you up to know that I had a dream about her during my last cat nap. You did? Yes, she had these purdy wings and a splendid hood. I think she might have been cosplaying, much like Friska has been. Uh huh. She was so happy, just like she used to be, and she said she would see you soon. That's a nice thought, and thank you for sharing it. But it was only a dream, and will surely have no consequence in reality. Equius? Are those feelings I'm detecting with my wiggly whiskery nose? Maybe. Then we must take this to the pile, scratching post haste. Okay. Just for a little while, though. You then proceed to have the most poignant and heartfelt feelings jam in the history of Paradox space. Or piles of things. I, a muscular man who is clearly a feline-obsessed female at the moment, do something suitably cat-like in accordance with the nature of this juvenile theatrical amusement. Strong Equius no like his poor attempt at roleplay. Also disapproves of missed opportunity to spell amusement as amusement. That's not how I talk. Equius commands strong, muscular cat girl to get in roll better. Oh, good grief. He commands it. Fine. I, again as a lithe-clawed female wearing a preposterous hood, I, I mean preposterous, Strike a supine posture on the floor. Darn it. Posture. The exposed belly commands to be scratched. It commands it do as it says. Roar, hulking brute, no obey command. Too strong for touchy, cuddly stuff per usual. The scruffy-haired, saucer-eyed, smart Alec takes issue with the tone of the girl currently posing as said hulking brute. She slash he wonders if he slash she appreciates that the powerful nobleman currently meowscurating as her slash him would be more than happy to a meow date said cuddly stuff outrageous strongness permitting. Uh, Equius, damn it! Why do you always have to make this so cerebral? Language. Sorry. What am I doing wrong? Well, you don't always have to announce who you are pretending to be in every line. You don't always have to point out that it's just pretend. In fact, that's sort of an RP no-no. How would you recommend I approach the absurdist charade then? I don't know, just by having fun and having a sense of humor about it and such. And not sneaking in sneaky sneaker little barbs of disdain for the exercise. I'm not dumb, you know. I catch those like scared little scurrying rodents. I was having fun. The line about the belly scratching was exceptionally playful, and I am to be commended. You will commend me. I command it! Yes, yes, okay, you're right. That was really great. Do more of that, okay? Ready? Go! I think I'm out of material, though. I don't actually know that much about cats. Uh, fine. We can stop. 
Here, take your gross, stinky glasses back, sweat queers. Very well. Here is your hood. Um, yeah. Why don't you hang on to that? Forever! It is my present to you. I... I can't tell you how touching I find this gesture, Nepeta. Thank you. From the very bottom of my ludicrously powerful cardiovascular system. Don't mention it. Examine shipping wall. You just don't have the heart to update the wall to reflect the recent deaths of your friends. As a veteran shipper, you have grown accustomed to watching your ships get sunk. But not like this. Examine paint set. Alternium paint sets are manufactured with the pigment from the blood of called wigglers. Which... is pretty powerful when you think about it. Examine yawn. Bat, bat, bat. Pounce, pounce, pounce. War dealing. So fragrant. Mm. Examine sugar pile. Just looking at this pile is making you sleepy. And emotional. No one can ever accuse you of not being prepared to sweeten a warm beverage. Examine Gamzee Diamond Carcat. You suppose this pairing is still viable, although the roles will have to be dramatically reversed. Examine Briska Spade Torres. Yes! This matchup always seemed just so perfect to you. Why can't anyone else see it? Why can't they see? It's hard being a shipper. It's hard and no one understands. Examine Jade Club Carcat, Carcat. You will have to remember to write Jade a nice thank you note for helping to stabilize Carcat's unhealthy relationship with his past and future selves. Maybe now with a clear head he will be able to open his eyes to what waits for him in other quadrants. Certain other possibilities. Maybe noticing someone nice over there in that bright red corner who has been sitting there all along. Examine John question mark Dursite. This is, um, a ship in progress. Human romance sure is weird. Examine Cretes, you mean crates. Oh no, no one must ever see! No one must ever see! Someday you will work up the guts to say something, maybe once this huge murder fiasco blows over. Enter great, you mean great. You suppose you should stay put like Aquia said, but it's so frustrating being all cooped up in here. Surely scooting through the air ducts for a while couldn't hurt. He will never know. Look through great. Fusefoot? Berry breath? Dr. Honeytongue? What monster could do this? <laughs> Next for what? Transportalize. It doesn't work. Someone must have disabled the transportalizer on the other side. You got an enchanted shitty wizard figurine. It's... a miracle. Examine Green Trail. Looks like someone's being pretty sloppy with their grub sauce. At least, you hope that's grub sauce. Someone has chopped this thing right in half. Maybe whoever is traversing through these corridors does not want to be followed. You can certainly respect such sneaky tactics.
You got a shattered bust of an incredibly attractive, sweaty human male actor! You have told Nepeta not to scoot through the air ducts and steal the cherished belongings of others. But does she listen? Of course not. You got Ahab's crosshairs! Perfect! This is exactly the kind of firepower you could use if you're going up against... You just broke. Examine slain beast. Arrows? Fired true straight through the eyes. Who could have done this? Ah, uh, it's you, Pyro. Have you seen the high blood about? Pardon. Smelled. <laughs> Check it the motherfuck out! It's the peasant blood. <laughs> Fucking her. Peasant blood? Is that a joke? If your blood is a running motherfucking gag, then soon it will be running through my motherfucking fingers. The profanity is sickening. You'll stop. You. <laughs> Kneel! You are not Pyro. You are the high blood. I should have known. Remove your counterfeit eyewear at once. Uh, if you please, sir. I'll show you what I motherfucking got. If you show me what's motherfucking yours! What? It was... A motherfucking... Joke. Honk. We really should talk. You really should, Neil. What was that? The volume of your voice keeps fluctuating. I said... Neil, motherfucker. I told you to motherfucking kneel, motherfucker! Ha 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 